Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution, and we are playing the sandbox mode at Isla Nublar. And before we go into this video, I really want to apologize for the later upload than normally. If you want to stay updated with everything regarding my videos and stuff, I really would recommend you to follow my Twitter because that's where I tell you all, and there are also other social media websites of course you can also check out you can find them in the description and for the last few days gosh i really have to thank you guys all because my subscriber count was like exploding i have no idea what was going on i think in in like three or four days we gained around 2000 new subscribers so thank you guys so much for your amazing support like this is like really amazing i do, really just don't know what to say and it was really a pleasure to read i don't know what happened but for some reason everyone was telling me like hey you got a new sub and i'm from spain or greetings from portugal or greetings from texas and it's so funny so please keep doing that because i really love to read where you all are from so please keep doing that thank you guys so much for your amazing support again <laughs> okay so the last thing but uh let me just show you a little bit what we did so this was the first episode right we built the main street area and over here we got the innovation center with some more shops and over here we got two ranger stations and we did put in the Edmontosaurus and D. Where are you? Where are you? Where? Oh, there you are. The Pentaceratops and the Gallimimus. So we already have three different species, but I really want more of these kind of species. They look a little bit like ostriches. Is that the right word? I think it is. But yeah, we're gonna gonna put in more of these kind of species in these uh, in this area. I know a few of you said like this is maybe a little bit too small, but compared to them, I think it is okay. It's not like way too small. It is small, but not like way too small. So I think I think we can keep this for like the smaller species of dinosaurs. And, um, oh yeah, but I got a great comment and I didn't even know that. Let me just show you over here. Uh, when you go to your settings, you have sandbox settings. So that is really nice because over here we can just say we don't want any outages. So that's really awesome. And same goes for dinosaur escapes. We can keep that at normal, but you can also change this to nighttime. Okay, wait, and, and I really want rain. I don't think I want I don't know light storms or rain only I don't know if light storms are also tornadoes or is that like only the heavy storms or the light storms too I'm not really sure so let's just keep that on rain because I really like some rain but let me just check at nighttime look at that that's awesome I really did a nudist so thank you so much Zach Duggan if I pronounce that right for telling me this because this is awesome and you also have the, the dusk setting so you can also have this in the dusk setting but i will change it back just at, at daytime uh because i like that the most but it's really a lot of fun to check this out once the park is totally done to check this out at nighttime and in dusk so let me just change this back real quick apply okay there we go Okay, so we need to expand our little dinosaur park, the ultimate dinosaur park. So let's just go into this. So did we already... Ah, okay, we have this Ruthiomimus. So we only have three. Would that be enough? I think it will be. Let's just check that out. Oh, let's just check him out. What are your statistics? I'm really curious to see. Okay, there we go. What do you need? Okay, you're, you're already happy being all by yourself, so three is totally fine. Okay, so let's tranquilize those guys. 
Uh, and someone also commented, like, you should put a feeder and some water in just for the idea that they can survive in here. And I like that. So let's just put in some water. If we can. No, it's... Oh, okay, okay, there it is. So a little bit of water over here. That works. And then have a feeder right over here. Just to give it the idea of that they can survive in this small little area. Okay, and we're gonna transport those guys to their new enclosure, which will be right over here with the Gallimimus. And I'm also thinking to maybe build a... I have no idea if this will work, but I really like to create uh, some kind of battling arena, but I'm not really sure if that could work. Maybe we could, ha could have something right over here, or maybe right over here at the end. Because it's going to be a dangerous fighting Asset area, and what I'm thinking, but as I said, I really have no, no, no idea if that will work. Commencing like, we don't have um, any places where the people can really sit, but what if you place, like, just these guys all around, like, the closest they can get. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. Let me just test it real quick. So you guys also know if this would work or not. Let it go all around. I don't even know if this would look good. And it has to be perfect then, no? Okay, it's not perfect at all. So what if we delete that one and can we just close that up? Kinda-ish. I have no idea how big is that enclosure then. So if we close that, I'm gonna delete this and we're gonna do this another time but i just want to see if that works it's obstructed okay you can you can do this only we need to make it a little bit more nicely i guess oh i didn't expect this but this would be funny right if this would be your fighting arena and the people can watch from all different angles Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Okay, so this definitely works, and it's not, like, super big. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. And then we can do, like, every episode a, uh, a battle. How does it look from the map? Okay, and mod. It's not that bad. It could be a little bit more round, but I think it looks fine. Shall we just keep it right over here? I don't know. What do you guys... Th no, I'm gonna... I'm gonna delete it and we're gonna do this in the next episode. And we're gonna make this perfect and then we're gonna put in some carnivores and that kind of stuff. And it's gonna be awesome. But we need to make sure where we're gonna place it. We're probably gonna place it right at the end or maybe just in the middle over here. But I really don't know if we have enough space for that. Okay, so one dinosaur is a little bit sick. That's there crazy. you go. We're gonna make you better. We're gonna make you better. Okay, let's do the same thing like we did over here on the other side. But let's first look at our Struthio Minus. They look gorgeous. I like those more than the Galli Minus. To be honest, just the look of them, they are so cute. And you know what? You guys also told me like I should incubate those dinosaurs a little bit different all the time. So don't like I'm super quick, like, oh yeah, let's uh 
let's incubate this dinosaur like click 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 <laughs> but um I need to make sure that I give them different genomes. I like that. I like that idea. Or maybe just one with like a different genome to, to give it the leader idea. So that would be fun too. So so we could definitely look into that. Um, let's see. Because which one? We still need those other guys. Let's see. We don't have this one. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce its name. <laughs> Uh, but I think I would want to incubate three of those and then we're gonna modify this genome to a jungle pattern maybe or the coastal I think for the coastal let's go for coastal oh and I need to make sure that he lives long enough right so let's give him some brain aging response I totally forgot with the others but oh well never mind and reaction speed and let's go for brain aging again just so he lives a little bit more longer than the others okay so that's done so let's create a new enclosure right over here on the other side and we're gonna do something different over here but I want these two sides to be pretty much the same okay let's see this is maybe not far enough this could work I think Yeah, I think so. It's not perfect. Let me delete it and try it again. There we go. I think this is a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. And then what was it? Two times? Yeah, two times. should be a little bit longer on this side. I don't know if we can do that. Okay, we can still build this side, so that's great. So one and two and then two on this side. One and two, and then connect. Awesome. And then place the viewing gallery pointing the other side, of course. There we go. I think this is perfectly mirrored from the other side. And then we can have a bigger enclosure right next to it. Is that also like two times the size? Was it? One. Two. I guess it was then. Okay, one and two. Is that even going to fit? Ooh, <laughs> it's close, but it does fit. Okay, so now we don't have any power problems. We can make sure this one has the most output as possible. And our dinosaurs are already done. Let's go and check them out. And hopefully we require the amount of social animals. Let's see. Okay, so he's gonna be totally fine. Oh, awesome. I like that. I like those guys. Oh, he's 
<laughs> the first thing he is doing is is feeding itself. That's really funny. Okay, so let's release the others. I want to see the difference between that other guy with a different pattern. It was the coastal, wasn't it? I think it was. So he has an orange bag, which is also already very nice to look at. So how do you look? Oh, you're totally different. A little bit more blue-grayish on his bag. Awesome. Oh, I like that variation. So thank you so much for the person that commented this idea. I really love it. Okay, so let's just wait until those guys are tranquilized and... Okay, you do need some power, but that makes sense. How many gates do we have? Just on one side. Okay, so let's put one on this side. And let's put some water in the middle again. I like that. And some trees. Oh, we can place trees on this side now, but not on that side. That's a pity. So this is still slightly bigger than the other side. And some trees over here. We still need to see what kind of animals we will put into these enclosures, but it's going to be awesome, hopefully. Not the most, the, the biggest herbivores, but also not the smallest one. Well, maybe inside of this enclosure we can put the more smaller ones, but... Okay, so how do we do that? Okay, so two viewing galleries on both sides. So that could be one over here. And one on that side. Great, awesome. So can we extend this road a little bit more? This is as far as we can get. So that's one and two going straight. And this, I don't think we can fit in over here can we a small one maybe just a little corner but that's it that's it there's no more we can do yeah path not connected I know we are working on it and shall we also put some shops in between and I wonder how long that should be Probably something like this, my guess. Okay, again, we're gonna have a weird bend right over here. I'm wondering how we're gonna do this. So let's keep make this straight. And can we just have a nice bend? Ah, oh, okay, that could work. Only the terrain is a little bit weird on that side, but it's it's okay, I guess. And then expand you. Go straight. Can we then connect like a very small path? Going right on this corner. I don't know if we should even do this. Maybe we should just keep it like that. It's it's fine. We can just expand this area and have this area. Okay, let's see if we can place down some shops. Let's go for something else. Um, fossil zone. Oh, we need to find the middle first. No, let's have a restaurant on this area, on this side. Hopefully we can squeeze in something else next to it, but we will see. 
Oh, we can even fit in a clothes shop and on the other side. No. Okay, so let's go for smaller ones then. Uh, maybe the arcade and the bar. Oh yeah, I think we can work with a bar on this side and then have some power. How did we do that in this side? Okay, so that's over here. So let's put you down over here. We can use this little corner for our power cables. But where are we gonna hide them? I don't know. Let's just temporarily place them right over here until we can replace them to hide them a little bit. Because I don't think we will be in this corner very soon. Okay, so you still don't have any power? No. Okay, so let's place a bigger one right over here too. Because I'm pretty sure there will be more there will be more stuff over here that needs power too. So I guess it's totally fine to put another one of these substations right over here. There we go. So those guys also have power now. And then we can fill that up a little bit more with some trees and bushes. Hopefully, yeah. That is working. Awesome. And I also need to play some gates. So let's have one over here and one over there. And they also have one over here. We do need some power on this side too. So let's place another substation over here. But I don't want to remove the trees. Okay, so let's put this guy a little bit more behind the trees. Hopefully it won't really uh, delete those trees on that side. Let's see. <sighs> fine. That was fine. Okay, there we go. So this guy also has power now once that is done. So let's see. There we go. We can transport our new dinosaurs. And we're gonna put them also in there. So the people can see the three different species that look a little bit alike in one big, well, small enclosure. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. This is definitely my favorite. Thuthiomimus. Definitely. <laughs> Did you see him? Look at that little one. Like, oh, hello. This game looks so gorgeous, like, you can watch this for hours. If we do lose the Amontosaurus, then I will definitely breed another one with the green head, because I really love that one. I really like that one. It's gonna be really nice. Okay, so we do have the Pentaceratops right over here, so let's see if we can have, on that other side of the park, if we can have... Uh, a girl with the horns too there, but I wonder which one. So we do have the Pentaceratops, and we, you know what we could do? One of these guys, I don't know if it's Stegosaurus or uh, this one, I don't know exactly, or the Kentrosaurus. I think it's the Stegosaurus that doesn't want too many of the same species in his enclosure, so maybe we can use that smaller enclosure for him. Her. <laughs> I keep saying him, but I know these are all females, but I don't know, for some reason. It feels so normal to call them all he's, so let's 
incubate three of those and hopefully that will be enough and let's modify this one with another pattern and I think I will go for a woodland pattern oh, you know what we should change all the um, all the colors from all of them not one I think it's more fun to have different colors of every dinosaur if I don't forget I can't promise but I will try for the next dinosaurs okay <laughs> Uh, okay, so they are almost arriving. How are they doing? Are they still happy with everything they have? I think they all are. Wait, this one has only 93? Why? Food? Wait, wait, wait. Didn't we place some food? Let's place some more. I didn't even send some rangers in. So maybe it's my bad. They completed. just don't have any food. Let's check. Adding tasks. Cool. They should be fine. But maybe because there are too many eating, he didn't have a chance to eat himself. I don't know, honestly. But if we have a feeder in here, oh wow, we, this should be fine. I don't think those dinosaurs will eat for a very long time over here, don't you think? <laughs> I like this. I like the idea of going in these directions in this kind of shape and we can have like bigger enclosures right over here and also probably just one right over here. And also someone commented like you should put in those long night dinosaurs right over here so the people that wake up from the hotel they can see the long necks from their windows like let me just try like this they wake up oh you can't really move your mouse like that uh, no you can't but like you would see those long necks right above the trees or something i like the idea but i'm not really sure because we only have one hotel now and i do think we need more hotels but maybe we could have like two hotels over here and then have like one big enclosure over here what do you guys think of that long neck idea do you like that right at the hotel area i'm really curious let me know in the comment section oh no you didn't work oh no okay so let's incubate another one maybe we should go for four but i'm not really sure i, I do remember that one of these types of dinosaurs are not very happy with that many dinosaurs in but i don't know if it's the stegosaurus Okay, I just, I just incubated another one. Let's just wait and see if that works or not. Uh, you know what? We're gonna wait until the next episode. I really want to know what you guys think of the arena idea. If you guys like that idea. And what you guys think so far of the shape of the dinosaur park. We didn't have that much progress, but I still hope you guys like it. Thank you guys so much again for all your support and subscribing. And please do let me know where you all come from because it's really a lot of fun to read and as you may have noticed I always try to comment or at least read all your comments and leave a heart because I really do appreciate all of your comments so please keep doing that make sure to subscribe of course if you already haven't and to like the video if you do my name is the lady designer and I thank you so much for watching this new episode and I hope to see you in the next one bye guys